Hello, Jean. Long time no see. I turned and saw my old buddy Cliff. He said, I don't know, but it looks like to me you've been doing all right for yourself. That suit you're wearing is tailor made. They don't give those shoes away either. What did you do, Gene? Get lucky at cards? You always were quite a gambler. I said, no, Cliff, I haven't been gambling. Let's go to my car and sit down. I'd like to tell you the whole story and the reason I moved uptown. Do you remember that fella? The one we call Holy Joe? The one that always read his Bible and hung around down there on the skid row? Well, one night something fell from his pocket and I waited till he walked away. Then I went and picked up what I thought was a wallet saying, boy, this is my lucky day. I put it in my pocket and went to my room and I turned on the light to the table. And then I saw what I'd found was only a small holy Bible. Then I remembered my mother had once read the Bible to me. Why, she read that Bible from cover to cover, but it never did interest me. But I opened this Bible and started to read, and there on the very first page, I read about God and his wonderful deeds. Then I learned why the first man was made. I never had stopped to figure it out just how this world began. But as I read on, I commenced to shout, and that's when the Lord took my hand. The next day I moved off of Skid Row and got me a room way uptown. But each night I'd take a few Bibles and go down there and just wander around. You see this box? Let's open it up. You know what these are? These are Bibles. I had them special made to look like a wallet. But when you open them up, well, they're violent. What's the matter, Cliff, while you're crying? What's that? What did you say? You say last night you found one of my Bibles and you moved uptown just today. Praise God.